We are aboard one of the prettiest, best equipped Leopard 48s that I've had a chance to represent. She's a 2017 48 that has been completely tricked out by her owners. She hits all the marks. She has over 3,500 watts of solar, 1,200 amp hours of battery, a water maker. She checks all the boxes. She's ready for your next dream. I'm Peter Robetz with Catamaran Central, and I'm excited to delve into the features that make this a really special boat. We're gonna to begin today's tour on the foredeck of Seaway. I'm stepping onto the trampoline that just in 2022, they restrung so it's nice and secure. And you'll see that this is the nice vinyl that's smooth, much more comfortable than the uh, big coarse ropes that are typical in many of these sail cats. So very nice, very secure, an excellent place to hang out. This particular boat had these sails replaced in 22. So they're just a couple years old, they're Ullman sails. This is a Genoa on a nice furling mechanism. The main with the lazy jacks um, is also a full batten main. And the Leopard 48 is a nice sailing catamaran. She sails well, fast, and delivers you in comfort and speed. The four peaks on the Leopard 48 provide ample storage. The owners of this boat have dedicated the starboard side to the water making equipment. This boat is equipped with a Spectra water maker that runs on the ample battery bank, which we'll talk about later, but it's a 12 volt Spectra making 16 and a half gallons per hour. Plenty of water for a cruising couple and a cruising family. And on the port side, that four peak has been modified now completely for storage. Plenty of room for your water toys. Underfoot on the starboard side here houses the two water tanks that are fed by the water maker that I discussed previously. The central compartment houses the windlass with a brand new 300 feet of chain and an 88 pound rock nut for good, solid, secure holding in any conditions. And on the port side lazarette houses the 9KW Northern Lights generator for those times where it may just be a little bit too cloudy for all the solar not to keep up. One of the absolute best things about the Leopard 48 is the forward cockpit. You can see now throughout the industry that it is being copied by many different manufacturers. And this forward cockpit came about because in the trade winds in the Caribbean and the Bahamas, the wind is out of the east, which means that the western setting sun will cook the back cockpit. This is a place that Leopard designed that's facing into the east, therefore in the shade late in the day. You have nice covered shade, out of the elements, out of the sun, etc. A large area to sit and hang out, whether you're sailing or at anchor. This particular boat has two tilt-up tables, plenty of places for drinks, a place for an impromptu quick lunch, whether you're underway or at anchor. Entering the salon now from the forward cockpit, I've just come through one of the great features of this boat. This large Lumar actually is a waterproof hatch, but this provides airflow through the entire boat, acting like a chimney pulling hot air out through the boat. So frequently, no air conditioning is even needed with this feature. It's an amazing part of the boat that we love, the boat that I live on, and the current owners love it on this boat as well. The Leopard 48 also has a very functional nav station that is forward facing. In this particular one, they have it set up with the VHF radio, the servo power management controller, the Spectra water maker controller, a Raymarine nine inch Axiom chart plotter, which is mirrored to the one that's at the helm, another fusion radio controller as well. Adjacent to the nav station is this large U-shape area, which is really the focal point of the living space in this salon. These particular owners have covered the milk factory cushions with this, but the factory cushion is underneath of these covers, should you choose to go back to that. This is a large area with a custom ottoman, plenty of room for up to 10 people to sit and gather and break bread. Moving over to the starboard corner of the salon, you have a nice flat screen TV, Apple TV, Sony controller, and one of the nice features on the Leopard is that all the electrical controls are consolidated in one area. So not only do you have the DC side and the AC side, you have generator control with remote start, as well as the two air conditioner controllers right here. Underneath the electrical panel, 
is this upgraded Isotherm 200 side-by-side -side freezer and fridge. These owners feel this is a huge upgrade over the traditional drawer setup that comes from the factory. Moving now over to the port side, which is the galley area, you have the lovely light ash interior, which is the preferred color, and the gray milk-colored Corian countertops. Plenty of work surface here, a double basin stainless steel sink, a custom spice rack. These particular owners have gone completely away from the propane, even though those lines are in place should you want to go back to it. But they use an induction cooktop and a Brevel combo oven microwave air fryer, all of which can be run without running the generator based on the huge amount of lithium battery power and solar that we'll talk about here in just a minute. Leaving the salon now, and before we talk about the cockpit, I'm going to go ahead and give you a tour of this very nice helm station. Coming in now up into the helm station, you have a nice wide seat. This particular boat has a built-in footrest, so your legs don't fall asleep like some other boats do. This particular helm station is outstanding. The visibility on all four corners is great. All lines run to the station, so one person can handle this boat. They have really done a nice job of upgrading this helm station. Both of these winches are electric, so you can raise the main over here on the starboard side uh, without cranking away. Again, this is electric and all of your jib sheets, main sheets, uh, and reefing lines are running to this electric winch here. One of the nice things that the way Leopard has rigged this boat is that the main sheet control has its own dedicated winch here on the port side of the helm station. Seaway has an excellent electronics package. Not only does it have the 12 inch Axiom display at the helm station, it also has the nine inch display that we saw downstairs in the salon. In addition to that, they have upgraded and added a Quantum 2 Doppler radar, which is an outstanding safety feature. And that's in addition to the AIS that this boat is equipped with. Moving now down from the helm station into the large cockpit. And this is the space that you will spend most of your time on a cruising cat. Not only is there's huge U-shaped settee and the two stools, another nice L-shaped lounge on this side as well. Easy access, no steps through here, all one level. Just a wonderful place to entertain. This is where you're gonna greet guests. This is where you're gonna break bread. It's where you might even have a sundowner from time to time. The Leopard 48 has plenty of storage. There's propane on the starboard side. There's storage underneath this U-shaped settee, but one of the most important parts is underneath this particular settee, and this is where we have 1,200 amp hours of lithium ion battery bank is housed. Seaway has this lovely cockpit cushions that were all redone in 2023. In addition to that, these side curtains with the Isinglass make this a truly comfortable space to be in, even if it's a little bit breezy and it keeps the spray or wind off of you in this area. Then moving back closer to the stern of the boat, they have a nice Kumo propane grill next to the mechanical spaces that we'll talk about here in just a minute. One of the things that you'll notice here on the Leopard, and again, one of the things that I think Leopard really does a great job with is dealing with your dinghy. Just keep in mind, your dinghy is your transportation when you're at anchor. This switch is easily activated, and this entire dinghy davit goes down and out and lowers the dinghy. It is safe, secure, and easily lets that dinghy clear the sugar scoops. Seaway is equipped with a 2022 Highfield dinghy with a Nissan 30 horsepower outboard motor. Providing shade above the dinghy when it's in place, you can see a portion of the solar rack, which has 3,500 watts of solar on this particular boat. More than enough to sustain her for days and days and days without ever starting your generator. This massive solar array is then funneled into and controlled by separate Victron solar charge controllers that are all housed in the port aft stateroom. So on the port side here, you'll see one of the mechanical spaces. Each of these are symmetrical. They house a Yanmar 57 horsepower diesel, which is a common rail system, very fuel efficient, very quiet. And on the port side, you'll also see it has a hot and cold shower for after those snorkel trips. All right, now that we've been above decks and outside on this boat, 
Let's look inside and look at the staterooms on this four cabin, 48 foot Leopard. And starting first on the starboard side of this boat, you can see that these owners have converted the forward berth into a workshop. It has a desk, workbench, plenty of storage for filters, tools, spares, etc. Everything a cruising couple needs when you're actively cruising this boat. But in the event, should you not choose to use the boat that way, or you have extra guests coming, that berth can be reconverted back into its existing space into a berth. All of that material is still on the boat. In addition to the modification in the forward stateroom, converting that into a workshop space, they've also added a washing machine that sits in the shower space of that forward head. In the starboard aft of this boat is the owner's stateroom. You can see that there's a double shelf for plenty of storage. There's a large hanging locker. There are also two nice large drawers underneath the bed. This room provides plenty of light and ventilation for comfortable sleeping. And on the starboard side of this boat, these owners have converted it into a 12 volt Maybrew air conditioning system, which allows you to keep the starboard hull cool all night long without running the generator. One of the nice things about the way Leopard has designed their boats is that they have all of the showers as separate stall showers. These are not wet heads in the 48. In other words, you're not showering with your toilet. So moving now from the starboard side over to the port side, we will find two almost identical berths. One forward with its own and sweet bathroom, large stall shower. Again, this is a very nice feature when you're having guests and cruising to have a separate dry head with a stall shower. and a slightly larger aft berth, which is a semi walk around queen size berth. Again, plenty of storage, light and ventilation. Well, now that we've had a chance to delve into some of the details on Seaway, the 2017 Leopard 48, I hope you understand my enthusiasm from the beginning of this video and you've had a chance to see what makes her truly stand out against her competition. But to really truly appreciate her, you need to come see her in person. So give us a call, send us an email. I'm Peter Ovetz with Catamaran Central. She's easy to see and we're happy to get you aboard. Thanks for spending a few minutes of your day with me.